Hi everyone, this is Fake Hair Mama. Thanks for joining me today. If you're new here, welcome. For everyone else, welcome back. <laughs> today I am going to be doing some styling with Caitlin. This is a brand new wig from Paula Young and she is in the color Honey SF1228. This is a cute, adorable, curly style. She is super lightweight is gonna be a great wig for summer. And she's definitely gonna be on my favorites list. <laughs> I'm also gonna be sharing a personal story that happened to me last evening when I had Caitlin on and was kind of uh, playing with her and trying different styles. Um, an emotional story that, you know, Brought back some emotions that I thought I was over with, <laughs> but I will share that story towards the end of the video for you. So she is perfect as is, but if you wanted to make it look like she's more of your own, <laughs> and I mean, you wouldn't be able to tell this is a wig anyway. Look at the crown area, it's done perfectly. But if you wanted to add some accessories to change up her look, you could definitely pull her back in a barrette on one side. Or both sides. So when you are clipping a barrette or a claw clip, you want to try and grab some of the wefting in the cap. So the... Um, whatever you're putting in your hair will be sturdy and it's not gonna be like flopping around <laughs> with the hair and it's not gonna come off on you. So very cute with a barrette. And would also look very cute with a second barrette. If you're interested in looking at my complete video on Caitlin, I will leave a link down below so you can take a peek at all of her features in the cap. So if you grab too much of your cap, it might make your cap smaller. So. Just be aware of that. I mean, you can always make adjustments in the uh, Velcro adjusters to give you some extra room or just try and grab less of the wefts. But another super cute style. I think curly wigs lend themselves to a lot more styling. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> and of course, we can always use a headband. This headband is a square headband. And this one, I lost it for months. Months. <laughs> and it just got pushed way back in my drawer where I keep all my hair accessories. But I thought she was... I knew she was somewhere, but I <laughs> was happy to find her the other day. Because <laughs> sometimes I like to wear, have a little bling. Very cute. Look at that. You want it to pull some of the hair away from your face. And of course wire headbands. I will leave a link down below to all these, um, to these headbands. If you're interested in them, these wire headbands come in different color fabrics and they are fun to wear. <laughs> Just a little something different. <laughs> So now I will show you what she looks like in an updo. And um, 
share that personal story I was telling you so about. So last night, I was just, you know, playing around with Caitlin here and trying to come up with uh, different styles that we can do with her. And um, I have to confess, I got a little emotional and it just kind of <laughs> came out out of the blue. And uh, you may think it's a little silly, but when I put her in this updo, I really loved it, but I got really emotional because it really brought me back to when I had my natural hair. This is exactly how I would style it when I was going to work, if it was really hot. <laughs> and when you have curly hair, you, just, you have those little tendrils that just, you know, kind of hang down anyway. And this is kind of like the length that they would have been <laughs> with my natural hair. And I thought I had put those, I had worked past those feelings of, you know, not having hair. I haven't had hair for at least three years, more than that. And, and I really have come a long way as far as, um, not having any hair and it doesn't bother me anymore. I love wearing wigs. Even if my hair were to grow back, I would still be wearing wigs. <laughs> because wigs are the fountain of youth for a lot of women, including me. And so much easier in a lot of ways uh, to get you out the door in the morning, whether you know, you're going to work or whatever, it's just one less thing you have to worry about. So I'll show you <laughs> what the up to looks like and um, show you what I'm talking about. So like I said, it may not mean anything to you, but to me, it was like, oh, it was just like, oh my God, that's my hair. That's my hair. So. Caitlin looks very cute in an updo. I just have her in a clip here. And just to have these little tendrils peeking down makes it look so much more natural. And that's one of the areas that really bother me with my wigs uh, when I'm putting them up in an updo is I don't want that clean line and there's no like, uh, like you would have in the front, a lace front making it look natural. You don't have little baby hairs hanging down. And yes, you can pull some down, but if you have like a longer wig, it um, can be a little bit harder to do. You can like kind of pull the hair down, but to me, you still have, you look like your neck is shaved or I don't know. <laughs> Just an area that makes me self-conscious when I am wearing an updo. This I could wear in total confidence because it's perfect. It's me. <laughs> it's what my hair used to be like. And that totally means a lot to me. And makes me feel comfortable wearing this in an up updo. I can totally see myself wearing this this summer, putting it up if it's really hot, and nobody is going to be the wiser. <laughs> so let me know if, if you get those emotions sometimes, even though you've been wearing wigs for a long time, or even though you've had hair loss for a long time, do, do those feelings come back and revisit you? I don't know. It just uh, took me by surprise last night <laughs> when um, some of those feelings came back. But it was also a moment of joy. A moment of joy that, yes, this is my hair. This, this is it. <laughs> so... I want to thank you for joining me today and letting me share my feelings. And hopefully I've given you some ideas on what you can do with Caitlin. <laughs> 
please like and share this video and we will see you next time. Bye.